Let's just offer a huge congratulations to the man of the moment, the person that deserves all the credit in the world, Jamie Vardy. Eighth place in this season's Ballon d'Or votings. The only Englishman left. Give him a round of applause, Jason. Unbelievable. Is he the only Englishman on the Yeah, the, the only top Englishman 30? included in the 30 player shortlist was eighth. Jamie Vardy. What a, How what much a phenomenon. time did he get in the Euros? Um, not enough. <laughs> uh, eighth! So, eighth! So the rest of them, there was some other players involved there, but, um... Yeah, a lot of... What do you mean, some other... Some there other was a players. couple, a handful of other players. By the way, but, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or. I was going to get to it. Uh, and... <sighs> what what, what else is... All, by the way, what else is new is... What's the point of even me intro the clip <laughs> if you're just going to do the main part of it? Francis knows that what else is, is new in this world? The sky is still blue. Do you celebrate your birthday on your on your sister's birthdays as well? Do you expect no, my presents? Si my sister's birthday is Valentine's Day, so my mom sends me chocolate, so I do expect presents. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo won it, yes. He won it, which means, by the way, uh, 2008 Ronaldo, 2009 Messi, 2010 Messi, 2011 Messi, 2012 Messi, 2013 Ronaldo, 2014 Ronaldo, 2015 Messi, 2016 Ronaldo. That's how much they've won is that I can barely say it in one long breath. Just, you know what, I think after three each, no more. Yeah, they should hit the limit. No There's just uh, how much gold balls can you have in a cabinet? <laughs> how many gold balls can you have in your cabinet? Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so Ronaldo's Real Madrid teammate, Gareth Bale, finished six as we work our way back I think that up. was my pick for third, but okay. Yes, um, <laughs> and of course, Lionel Messi is the one that finished second. And a huge shout out to Antoine yeah. Griezmann. Who was your who, pick? Uh, I was, it was my pick to finish... Second all, I, I actually said third because I just didn't think it's realistic that anyone would split them. Right. Um, but someone who will feel hard done by is that man, Luis Suarez, who a lot of people had he finish? tipped. I believe he finished uh, fourth in the rankings. So nothing, like, nothing like fourth place. Nothing like fourth place. The Arsenal. Ask Arsenal. The Arsenal Award. <laughs> So yeah, and then behind Gareth Bale was uh, Neymar, who was fifth, Luis Suarez fourth, and is a great shout for Antoine Griezmann with 198 points in the voting, comes in at third, and listen how far away Cristiano Ronaldo won this. Lionel Messi had 316 points, Ronaldo, Ronaldo had 745. What did Jason, the, that's what double. Did the, what did, and more. What do the points mean? I guess it's is how many votes. line? Yeah, I, I think a vote counts for a point or whatever, like they, they ranked them. Um, for a second, and you get points for whatever position you're ranked. Fair enough. All added up. There's zero argument for anybody aside from Cristiano Ronaldo. I know Messi fanboys start typing away in the comment section. Have fun with this year because, no. Yes, I should say yes to start that sentence. Yes, you win the Euros and you win the Champions League. You are the best player on the best team, and that's how MVP award voting has gone. And I know it's called the Ballon d'Or in, in, uh, in your neck of the woods. Yeah. Uh, but that's how... Being the best player award goes for every sport in the history of sports. It just, that's just, those are how it works. You're the best player on the best team, and that best team wins tons of trophies that year, you're going to get it. You can make an argument for Messi, but it's a losing argument because Ronaldo deserved it. You, you could have made an argument for Suarez, Messi, even Griezmann had the Euros went the other way. But the argument is for second place. Yeah, I think that <laughs> to, make, to make the argument for Griezmann would have held a little bit more weight if France had won the Euros. Like, Ronaldo already beat him out to winning the Champions League. Griezmann um, was on the, the receiving end of two losses at the hands of Cristiano Ronaldo's team, whether he wasn't playing or not, uh, in the Euros. But he delivered the first ever major competition to his country. I don't care if he was injured in the final. He played a pretty crucial part the whole way through um, and was influential. So his numbers in 2016 are as follows. 55 games, 51 goals, 17 assists, one Champions League, one Euro 2016 and now one Ballon d'Or to make it four for him. And to clarify, in a previous clip where I talked about it, it was his third for Real Madrid when I was saying that he was going to make it three. Well, we have it was Real fun, Madrid. fun graphics. Uh, show us the fun graphics. Uh, graphic one. I just thought this was a cool looking graphic by AFP. News. I think he has to win one more. Um, Kevin Egan down there. He, he, needs to, he needs to win one more in order to just settle it. And then no one can ever dislike. Just, just because Ronaldo won this year's Ballon d'Or does not make him an all-around better player than Messi, in my opinion. And even if he wins one more, it will make the argument a lot better. I just think Ronaldo it would just fans. cause people to go crazy, and I think it'd be funny. Because they're just having the same Ballon d'Ors. I mean, he's, he's still competing with Brazilian Ronaldo. Messi's not competing with Brazilian Messi. That would be... 
Argentinian Messi would be Maradona. No, they have different names. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> he is, I, but he is competing with Diego Maradona. He always will be because of that World Cup. Of course, and that's something that people like, people will always find reasons to put theirs ahead of the other. Like if Lionel Messi does not, doesn't win a World Cup, he's not going to be the greatest of all time. Um, and there's plenty of reasons why people will say Messi is better than Maradona. He did far more than Maradona did the club at level. the club level, winning a Champions League, which is something that neither Brazilian Ronaldo or Diego Maradona were able to accomplish. That's like, don't minimize it because it's not World Cup stature. Like, that is a phenomenal accomplishment. The and Messi Euros does it all the time. That's what I'm saying. The Euros accomplishment for, Mar for Ronaldo really stands out in that argument yeah, against does. Messi. I, I, to me, it just comes to a matter of you can't go wrong in choosing one of them. Yeah, I think you can. I still think Messi's ahead, but you've got a great argument to make for the other one. It would make like, for an think interesting about it, think about it. If you're playing, let's, let's make this very simple. You're playing pickup soccer. What do you call it? Five aside? Sometimes it's fine. And you yeah, have the second fine. pick, and that person takes Messi with the first pick, and you go, oh, man. And the second Just draft. Ronaldo. <laughs> God, we don't stand a chance. It should have been a question in, the, in every sort of election debate. Messi or Ronaldo. And then you would really get to know the character like of that Beatles candidate. It's like Rolling Stones, not to Bartman. Uh, it's like uh, chocolate or vanilla. Chocolate. <laughs> that is not even... Ice cream? Argument. Oh, ice cream, all right. I like vanilla ice cream, but just chocolate in general. You don't get vanilla, like, nice bars. You get chocolate bars, and they're great. You ever have, this like, like cookies one. and cream falls on the vanilla side of things, I think. There's still some chocolate in that. We combine both. Cream. Yeah, we just... No, it's like swirl. Just put them both in the same team, and this argument will not go as far down a tangent in the future. I think that we've talked about Messi and Ronaldo so much in the past that the only way we can get through these clips is to tangent off because we're not going to weigh up the stats and facts the way some people will. This means Ronaldo is that much closer. I think it's no. the most debated topic in the history of sports. Yeah, it could be. I mean, well, you don't, I don't think you've ever had two players this just be, just neck and neck. outside of the United States, like at every bar outside of the United States, that's what they talk about. Well, who, well if you go to Canada, they're like, Mario Lemieux or Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> but who, who in any other sport has been at the top of their game right there with someone who's just neck and neck with them, consistently adding these accolades? I don't think there has been. We have to do another clip on it. No, I think we did it before. We talked about it. Like, if you're saying LeBron and Kobe, like, you can't make not, that argument because they never exactly. played against each other. They never went head to head. Yeah, that's, that's it's LeBron's a huge fault, factor in it. Um, it's Dwight Howard's fault, actually. And <laughs> he is. He got in the way. So, All right, we got to get out of here. There's no one else. Uh, so, congrats <laughs> to Ronaldo. Great win. Uh, there was no ooze this year, I don't yeah, think, the way he did it last year. That's why it wasn't as exciting. I was waiting on it. The, the Twitter verse exploded what last year. What did their with that. kids think? I think his kid did a dab. Ronaldo's kid dabbed it. Dabbed it out. So we'll take it home. Genie. With the genie dab. Yeah. Forever I want it and I ain't giving it up. I work my hands to the bone and now I'm living it up. I'm going dumb in the club. My clothes, we don't give a hug. We work too hard to get here. The top ain't even enough.